Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Behind me is the Dacia stand here at Geneva International Motor Show 2024. And in this video, I will try to present you the brand new Dacia Duster Free 2024 version. I have it behind me. And the great part is that right here, I will start with a full hybrid. It's also my favorite version, I can say, when it comes to powertrain. And I will give you some technical data. We will go through the car, exterior, interior, as always. And I try, you can get as many details as possible from this video. So let's start, first of all, with the technical data, and then we will go around the car. Also, they have here other version as well. I will try to film it. On on my channel so stay close because we'll come a lot of interesting video next days plus we have the new Dacia Spring full electric there and also we have the new facelift jogger and on the back there we have the Sandero let me show you first of all the technical data and information about the car because I have right here and as I said this is the extreme version by the way it comes also with the new elements that are different for example the rims right here they are 18 inch rims but we will talk about that a little bit later and also it looks a little bit different plus on this version it comes with this bumper in the back and in the front a little bit different and about that we will talk a little bit later let me go back to the technical data so first of all the price the starting price of this car at least in switzerland it's around 27,790 francs about that we will talk also because it differs from country to country it's not always the same but this is the hybrid version that comes with 140 horsepower and the multi-mode automatic transmission the same as Renault use it also on their car I'm super excited to test drive this car as soon as I get it for a test drive uh, I will be really excited and I'm really curious how it works faster with this full hybrid system also seven inch digital cockpit come right now kind of uh, on this version what else 10 inch multimedia screen we will talk about that and it comes also with a new system u clip we will talk about that as well modular roof rails fog lights all that stuff doesn't matter the sandstone is the metallic color 700 francs and the price of the car uh, in the end will go under 30,000 francs that's really impressive for what this car offer anyway i don't want to go too much into those details because I will do that as soon as I get the car for a proper review but I want to talk a little bit about the exterior and I want to show you a little bit and I want to give you my opinion first of all it's for the first time today when I see the car and I have to tell you it's really really look much better in reality it looks a little bit bigger than the previous version in in uh, videos or online until now I saw it but I was imagining it a little bit smaller but in reality it looks much much better and also this color fit quite nice on the car uh, to be honest i think it's my favorite combination of color and also with the extreme you can see the mirrors uh, look really really nice also this version right here it's a little bit different because it's the extreme version and it seems like those plastic and also protection around the wheels and also the bumper in the front in the back it looks much more aggressive much more powerful it gives a tent of i don't know it has that feeling when you look at the fender for example it, it has that powerful rough feeling and I, I really like that uh it looks really nice i think it's a big big step forward from the previous version when it comes to design when it comes to lines when it comes to styling and design i think it looks much much better also in the front you can see right now duster come with a new uh, front grille with a new logo that looks definitely much better air intakes in this area down here again some grille with air intakes here the car come with led lights for the daytime running light and down there it comes also with led light but only for the low bin the high bin will have a halogen light so that's kind of the same as on the other dacia cars for example sandero and Logan and uh, Jogger have the same thing. I wish although here to see uh, for the high beam also on full LED light. But other than that, it looks really lovely. And I think the design, it's integrated very nice. I like very much the fact that this area here, it's painted directly. So if you scratch this plastic, uh, even if you scratch it, the color will stay the same. It's not like uh, in other cars where when you scratch it you can see the difference in color here they paint it directly it's really interesting and also they use recycled 20 percent of the car it's made uh, 
by recycled materials. And you can see that on the side here, you can see also this plastic with a little bit of white, I don't know how to call it. Uh, I don't remember exactly the name, but you can see even down here, they have this insertion inside there that look like it's a recycled material, but that's very smart from them. And I didn't expect on this price range to also care about environment and stuff like that. But 20% of the car, keep in mind, it's made by recycled material. Also, the fog lamps are down here and they are not LED lights. Also, it's a normal halogen light. But overall, it looks really nice. I like the fact that uh, the front bumper, it's extended in the front. So if you hit something, you will hit it with this area. So you don't have to worry. Uh, you can change it very easy if it's scratch. Beautiful. Also, the lines up here on the hood, it looks different than the previous version. Also, quite interesting and nice lines. And also, I love the air intakes here. Big, big, big air intakes and really, really raw. And they look really cool. Really nice, those elements. And if I go on the side, I don't want to bother the other guy that film, but you can see the air will come around here. So to improve the aerodynamic and also to improve a little bit the look of the car. Here, as you saw before, 18 inch wheels they are the extreme wheels and they look also quite nice ventilated brake discs on the front and also normal brake discs on the rear so no drone brakes right here and if i'm not wrong yeah they are normal brake discs and here in the back the same story everywhere around the edges of the car we have this plastic recycled from recycled material and also they are extended a little bit here i really like that and also on the down skirt the same story i really like the way it looks even here you have those protections quite nice and also here in the front on the front door you can see right here 20 percent recycled material you can see the sign here in this area duster and also it seems to be quite good quality i really like it also the mirror caps in this extreme bronze color then you have the turning signals that i'm not sure if they are working right now if i turn it on let me see if that work and also the light maybe Yes, I can make it work. And I can show you also the light. Let me show you. So you can see right here, it's not an LED light. It's basically a normal halogen light right here. So I was expecting to have LED lights also on the uh, mirrors right there. This is the turning signal from the front. And this is the, the low beam that it's LED light. And if you turn on the high beam, you will have a yellow light. I'm not sure if it works in the same time as I film, but I will try to do that. Let's see if that's work. So yeah, it doesn't work. But yeah, I think you can you can definitely make an idea the way it looks from the front. I think it looks quite nice, right? It's really, really nice. I'm really curious how it looks with the yellow part, but the lights in general, the design in general, I think it looks super, super cool. From every angle you will watch the car, it looks quite nice. Really interesting also this area here, it seems to be a little bit extended. You can see if you look from the upper side, this area here, it's a little bit extended from the windshield. I'm not sure the reason for that. Probably I will try to, to ask the guys here on the HR to explain or to make some interview, but it's really, it looks really, really interesting. And you have this plastic extended in this area. Up here on the windshield, you have some cameras and sensors that read the traffic speed limit, lane assist and all that safety features. Also on the windshield, you have a nice Dacia that goes uphill. Quite interesting, probably signify going off road. Uh, modular uh, roof rails here so you can adjust them you can put it vertical horizontally and you can add some extra storage here and it looks quite nice also in the back what i notice is the fact that the radio antenna it's kind of classic doesn't have that shark tail small and nice it's it's a little bit bigger but there are some parts where they try to save some costs so that's understandable but overall it looks nice what i like very much in the back of the car is this spoiler that looks just fantastic i mean the lines here on the upper side even this area it looks really really sporty aggressive and i like that and then here surprisingly usually on most of the car these days we see glossy plastic no that just goes with this matte kind of a matte plastic that looks quite nice to extend the spoiler in the back and it looks really interesting tinted windows on the rear you have also this wiper small wiper here is the brake light LED light and then here on the side tinted windows tinted windows and then this is the new handle and basically to be honest the new handle 
quality. It's quite nice. It feels really, really nice as you touch it. And around the edges of the windows, we have this matte rubber. But in general, quite, quite cool. Here you have also the, so here is the fuel tank. And also the door on the fuel tank feel good quality. Nice. I like it. I like it. It starts to be much more premium and premium and premium every time they update the car. Here in the back, we have Dacia uh, writing with the same bronze color. And then you have also here LED lights on the number plate, reverse camera, and the tail lights are new now and it looks really interesting. And also the turning signal here, it's a normal halogen light. It's just basically a bulb light. I'm not sure if I can turn it on again so I can show you. I think someone turned it on, but I can and basically try it one more time so you can see in the back the way it looks and it's basically a normal halogen light there but it looks pretty cool and also this one here is not something fancy three-dimensional stuff like that but it looks basically quite nice that you are writing on the side here um, i like very much also this bumper in the back it's super extended it's all super helpful and it looks really really aggressive again made by recycled material this area here here we have a gray mat parking sensors so the car comes with four parking sensors on the rear down here reverse camera some light reflectors hook here and this is it guys and we have the same sticker with duster hybrid so you know which version it is so what do you think about it Really interesting, right? Another thing that I want to do before we go forward, test the doors. Oh, they sound much better than the previous version. Nice. And the reason for that is probably because they add this rubber here. Check this out. Wow, that's smart. That's really, really smart. On the down port, it has some rubber here. That's cool. That's improving the, the sound and also the sound insulation inside the car. Can't wait to test drive it to see that. Also on the upper side, some rubber. This is smart. Also this one, it's quite nice. And also I like the fact that you have this plastic protection down here. This is super, super useful in time for the car. Now from down here, you open the front, if I'm not wrong, here, right here. I want to show you the engine part. But the quality of the doors are improving. And also in the back, you can see extra rubber here, extra rubber here, nice. Nice, the sound is pretty, pretty nice. Now here in the front, it comes with automatic lift gate. Check this out. Doesn't have manual lift gate. So the, for the price of the car, it comes with some features that are really interesting and I, I really like that. And also down here, you can see this is the full hybrid version. You can see the electronic parts here. And also here, this is the engine. We will talk about that when I get the car for a proper review. I will give you more details because now I don't have too much time. There are many people here that try to film the car. Also up here, some rubber. Quite, quite smart, quite smart, I should say. Nice. Let's go in the back. But I really like the way they design this area, this windshield with this, this part here. It's really interesting. I have to ask about that. And also these roof rails start a little bit square here. Really interesting. Now let's go in the trunk. The trunk, it's a manual lift gate, but it's basically quite light to open. I like that. The weight ratio, the way they design it, it's, it's light to open, and this is important. On the upper side, you have some plastic around here. Uh, and also here, you have a handle, and you have this U-clip, they call it, where you can add different accessories. Then you have also this protection, trunk protection right here, that you can take it out, super simple. You can see in this area the cutting cost of the production, so that's why they are offering uh, at a good price, because you have some areas where you have uh, some uh, materials and some elements where are not super perfectly made or put too much uh, money in it, but it's perfectly normal for this type of car. And the entrance in the car, it's quite big. You have some rubber down here at the entrance for the trunk. Then you have some plastic at the entrance. And also you have this protection from Dacia uh, that comes optional, if I'm not wrong. And if you look under the trunk here, you see that you don't have too much space because this is the uh, full hybrid version. So you can't expect too much space. They have to fit in the batteries, the tanks and all that stuff. So it's perfectly normal. You have like here probably 50, 20 centimeters, I should say, deepness. So it's more than enough to put your stuff here. 
also here some storage space in the left side. You have the U-clip here in the left side, some hooks again here, the U-clip. You have a 12 volt port. Oh, that's important. I like that. You have a normal halogen light here and then again some hook so you can see it a little bit better. So overall, you can take also down this uh, trunk protection so you can see a little bit better how the car looks. I will show you right now, I will put on the images, some image with the trunk and with this cover down. So I will fold down the seats a little bit so I can, you can see how much space I have there. And by the way, guys, the ground clearance on the all wheel drive version is 21.7 centimeters. It's a little bit higher than the other versions. That's something to keep in mind. But yeah, this is really important to let you know before we go inside the car. All right, so now let's go inside and I wanna try to fold down the seats for you. So in order to see how much space you have there, uh, I'm not going to take this out, but in a, f in a future video, I will definitely do that so I can show you. If I'm not wrong, if you wanna fold down the seats, where were that? I think it is around here. You have to, or from the trunk, you cannot do that. But from here, you basically have this strap up here. So you pull this strap and then you fold down the seats just like that. And then on the other side, you have to do the same thing. So the thing is that you, you are not able to do it from inside the trunk, but that's normal because there are also much more expensive car, even BMWs and um, other cars that are not able to fold it down from the trunk. Uh, it's very simple to do that and basically the seats are relatively uh, light. I like that and I want to show you how it looks. Check this out. This is the space here. You don't have a completely flat floor. The thing is that you have around 10 centimeters deepness around here. So yeah, I don't think you will mind that, but in general it has plenty, plenty of space. The entrance is big. Other than the, the flat floor, I think it's just fine. And also you can see here, you have some space here where you can add a flat floor. And I see on other version where you are able to basically uh, put another floor right here, not on this version, but I will try to show you on other uh, versions, probably on this one here. I'm not sure, but I will film the other one as well. So I can show you where you have this area here. You have this floor a little bit higher, but in general, yeah, this is the way it looks. If I close, the trunk, I want to show you also inside the way it looks. So when you go here, you can see the entrance, it's relatively big. So yeah, basically quite similar with the previous version. And from this area, you can see one more time the way um, it looks. So yeah, in general, quite, quite nice. Also the quality here, basically quite the same as on the previous version. And put it back, quite simple. And right here, the quality on the seats are really, really different. It's not a microfiber or textile material. It's kind of a combination of micro cloud, they call it. And it's really, really interesting. And also as you touch it, it feels like it can last for longer. It feels like much raw and much better material for longer time. Here it's also Isofix. You can install two child seats right here. Here you have some gray material in this area and the doors because we didn't talk about the doors it's completely made in plastic so that's something to keep in mind but the design overall it looks quite nice here is the speaker here you have some storage space here are the buttons for the windows and you can basically fold down the window until here it doesn't go all the way down so uh, that's something to keep in mind but overall the design and the look of the door it's quite quite nice entrance it's big as i told you before also you have some hooks here in the corners and going inside, just take the time to adjust the seats in my driving position. So let's go inside to see how much space I have behind myself. So this is the space here behind myself. This is how much space I have on my knees. I think it's a lot, a lot of space. So from my point of view, I'm 173 centimeters. I adjust the seats in my driving position and this is the way uh, it looks. I can stretch my legs kind of completely under the seats, insane, and I can stretch it almost completely. So for me, at least 173 centimeters is more than enough space on the legs. My knees stay relatively fine here. Maybe one finger here over the head. I have pretty good space five fingers and half something like that so overall space it's it's quite quite good here you have also a handle here and also you have this material uh i should say from one to ten i will give it a six but it looks quite quite nice it's kind of a gray 
nice textile material. Interesting, also we have a normal light here, halogen yellow light, so it's not an LED light. And down here you have, yeah, let, let me leave the, the light off. Down here you have some storage space where you can put different items. Down here you have this U-clip that Dacia add different accessories. And then you have two USB-C down here in the center. The center console is relatively small. I like that, maybe five centimeters. That allow you to go in the middle very easy. You don't have any armrest in the middle here, but the material is quite soft. I like that. And here it's also soft. Quite, quite interesting this material. Let me go in the middle. Once you go in the middle, you can see this is the space on my knees, relatively good. Space here, uh, a little bit less, but it's fine. You can stay also with your legs kind of together, not so comfortable, but like that is just fine. And you definitely have uh, space on your knees enough. Here it's a little bit less space. I should say five fingers over the head, stretch my hand almost completely. And here almost completely. But I think free person here can stay without any problem for short, medium trips. No problem, I should say. I like very much the fact that you don't have an armrest, but they, they kind of do it a little bit softer. So it's much more softer in the back here. It's much more comfortable. It, it feels definitely, definitely much more comfortable and softer. Down here, it's a little bit stiffer, but on the back, it's softer and it makes it much more comfortable even for a third person. So I'm super surprised. Probably one of the most soft uh, back support on a middle seat in the back. Anyway, great. Visibility outside, guys, it's pretty, pretty good. So you have a great visibility in this area on the window. Uh, from my point of view, it's, it's, it's nice here. Behind the front seats, some stuff material, some storage space here, storage space here. And this is the way it looks, the dashboard. One of my favorite part on this new Dacia Duster is the dashboard and the design of the dashboard and the way it looks. It's crazy premium, it's unique. And I like that it add those new elements from Dacia signature with the new logo, with the vents that looks lovely, the new multimedia system, the new digital cockpit, it looks super super cool and let's don't forget the new shift by wire transmission and yeah the center console basically look also nice let's go in the front there here you have one big window from one piece so the visibility is basically kind of the same as on the previous version here on the doors we have some plastic on the upper side but we have some nice interesting trim then you have the handles in gray here you have kind of a soft material kind of the same material as they use here the micro cloud material also in this area here we have also some white kind of a I, I don't know it's kind of a plastic but it has a nice nice design added to it kind of a better quality plastic if that makes sense for you but it looks really interesting the way they design and they add this signature so you can see this signature that are on the daytime running light it's add also on the vents also on the other side and also outside and in some elements and even here in the doors so it looks quite nice those are the buttons basically they feel kind of the same as on the previous version but you can adjust the mirror you can fold the mirror from here so that's quite nice so if you press this the mirrors are folding in and out and you can adjust the mirror electrically from here here you have a speaker storage space enough storage space to add different items right here then you have some plastic at the entrance normal pedals no aluminum pedals or stuff like that here you open the front here you have electronic handbrake here uh, are also space for two buttons probably from some extra options i'm not sure about that but it looks like it the entrance in the front also relatively big and once you go here you can see those micro cloud design seats with Dacia logo on the upper side, on the gray part. It looks quite nice. The way they look are nice. I sit on them and they seem to be quite comfortable, but I like very much the new look of the seats with this new logo, with this gray design, side support, some textile material on the side, micro cloud here. And yeah, they look nice, side support. They are manual adjustable. That's something to keep in mind. So you have to adjust it manually here for the driver and also for the uh, passenger on the upper side here you have some buttons this button here is for all the safety features so from now on you press this button and you can basically activate or personalize them then you have the echo button right here on the left side the button's quality it's very good and here is the position of the lights and then you have the e-save because this is the hybrid version you can basically press this button and e-save will be activated on the screen and you can use it for later you can use later for example the energy that was recuperated in the battery then you have the the vents here 
the vents look quite nice. Look at this, man, they are so inventive. I mean, it's so unique. I saw more and more cars manufacturers, they come with new design for the vents. They try to make it unique and different from the other. Uh, but in general, yeah, the quality is fine. On the upper side, the same story, the same trims here, but overall on the upper side, we have also plastic. Now, if I wanna go inside now, it's a little bit more quiet. Adjust the seats. I like very much the fact that you can adjust the seats directly, directly on the back or directly up, just like that, super easy. Visibility wise, we will start with that. It's quite good. Around the windows, you have pretty good visibility. From my point of view, it's, it's quite, quite nice. So nothing to complain here. You can see for yourself. You can see one more time also the seats in the back there. And here you have an armrest. Armrest, it's in the same micro cloth material. You can open it up like that. Storage space, relatively good. So here you have two cup holders, then some storage space here in the middle. Shift by wire transmission. It's a little bit bigger than I was imagining online, but it's quite nice. I love that. I love the fact that we don't have any more that big stick in the middle. And they go on this road where we have much more space and it's much more modern and nice. Even though everything in this area, it's made in plastic. It looks relatively good. Here's the parking button. And then we have some storage space here in the front to USB-C. Then we have the 12 volt port, some storage space in the front right here. And here you have a place where you can leave your phone, but it's made in plastic a little bit higher. We have uh, the buttons for the hazard light, lock the car, and we have physical controls for the multimedia system. I like that very much. This is really important because you don't have to always uh, go into the multimedia. You have to, you can do it from here, very simple. And you can see also on the screen right here while you're playing with it, it appears on the screen in this area. And also the thing is that you cannot use the touch. So you cannot use the touch screen for the climatic system. You have to basically use those physical buttons down here and you can adjust from here the temperature. It's very simple and you can turn it off also um, super simple. You can put it on auto and you can turn it off from this button here on the left side, just like that and it's off. Then if you look a little bit higher, you have those um, climatic systems, uh, vents right here, the same as on the side. The quality of them, it's, it's quite, quite good. The steering wheel now can be adjusted forward, backward, but you cannot adjust it. Oh, yes, you can. Up, down, check this out, forward, backward. And I like very much this new design of the steering wheel, flat on the upper side and on the downside. It looks quite nice. It's, this is the new trend these days. I saw on so many cars, this type of steering wheel. I think it looks much better uh, than the conventional one. And it's, it's really, really welcome. And you have much more, much better grip when you take the curves. I like it. And also the grip, it's nice. The quality is good. Basically, they don't use leather here. It's leatherette on the steering wheel and also on the seat. So we don't have uh, leather on the seats and also on the steering wheel. And uh, the quality seems to be quite good. I like it. I like the fact that they use physical button on the steering wheel. This is quite important because it's really easy to change different function, different settings. Here on the left side, you have the cruise control and all that autopilot settings. And on the right side, you have also the possibility to customize this new digital screen that I will talk a little bit uh, later about it and also physical button. Behind the steering wheel here, you have the controller for the media. So this is the media controller the same as on Renault, uh, use it also on other cars. Also, I notice here on the A pillar, you have a small speaker, quite interesting. And up here, you have the mirror without any light on the upper side, but it's quite nice. And also here you have the SOS button and you have those normal bulb halogen light in yellow. And this is the mirror, also the mirror, pretty big. This is the visibility in the back there. You can make an idea the way it looks, I think it, it's quite, quite good uh, array right there. Now let's talk a little bit about the screen in the front. Finally, it comes with a digital screen, fully digital screen that looks quite nice. It's not as customizable, it's not as fancy, I should say, as we saw on other cars that are, of course, much more expensive, but it's, it's quite nice. You have a lot of information there. You can see the charging power. Uh, you can see uh, a lot of useful information like the battery percentage down there, how much gas you have, the speed, the 
traffic speed limit and on the upper side the cruise control uh, and also you can see the echo mode in which mode the car it is right now and of course you can see also when you change the gears in which gear the car it is and basically from here you can customize it a little bit so you can see just you can see here echo monitor um, then you can see also this information about the position of the car this is really important for an SUV at least if you want to go off-road then you have uh, the energy flow here it's quite interesting it shows you what happened with the energy while you're driving then the distance and you have the consumption the temperature and then uh, the oil and here you have if the car have any errors or stuff like that you can basically see it there so yeah the thing is that we don't have any map so you don't have a full map right there not uh, for now maybe in the next model but that's a big step forward with a digital screen now another thing is that here you have this support but it's added to a new clip because behind this phone support from down here it's not so easy you basically have to press a button down there but you have this u clip that the dacia add uh, accessories and this u clip you can find it in the car basically it looks like that you buy the accessories and you can add the accessory to the u clip and it has in some places and i will show you immediately but it's so so easy to check this out it's so easy to to install them here with one hand it's not that easy but in general it's crazy easy and it's really really useful up here on the multimedia you have three buttons for the volume you have physical button and one button here it's for the screen you can basically uh, turn off the screen from there it's a big screen i like the fact that they tilt it to the driver it's very important that the screen is a little bit tilted to the driver because in this way it's much more easy to look and it's much more easier to adjust different settings there what i notice is that it's very responsive even though it looks relatively simple it's very responsive and that's also quite important and then this is the first page and on the first page you can see a lot of information about audio you have the navigation here that you can add it uh, optional and extra to the car and you can see the navigation then in the back you have the vehicle information right here with charging and all that stuff the phone and if you go to vehicle here you have the electric information and here on the electric information you can see a nice energy screen display that shows you what happened with energy because this is the full hybrid system and it comes also with an electric motor a battery and also the petrol engine it shows you what happened with the energy uh, between them while you're driving you saw that probably on my test drive videos and you will see it soon as soon as i get the car for a test drive and then you have here the my driving information where you see all kind of information about the driving uh, echo score and all that stuff driving assistance system from here you can activate and deactivate different uh, driving modes and you have my safety you have personalized you can basically personalize the driving and all that safety features with lane assist limitation charging sound over speed uh, dashboard line intervention you have the portal warning you have vibration you have so many settings that we will go through in a separate video when i as soon as i get the car traction control it's here you can activate and deactivate the traction control from here from the screen and active brake it's also from here and if i'm not wrong the active brake it's the emergency brake then you have the comfort here where you have this follow distance you have this autopilot and adaptive cruise control you have the parking sensors right here on the safety so all that safety features you will find it around here then you have all road information so you go when you go off-road with the car you have all that off-road information about the position of the car this is really important and you have also the button for the downhill assist it's integrated right here then you have the vehicle information you have the access doors and welcome uh, interior sound mirrors and wipers and the cockpit screen here you have some extra information about it the brightness of the cockpit uh, and also the ambient light so from here you can change basically the ambient light so the ambient light basically of the multimedia system you can basically change it from here and you have a few colors in which you can uh, choose it and then you have the tire pressure right here where you can see tire pressure that was the vehicle and then the settings is the last one where you have all that important settings from the sound settings from here you can uh, 
uh, change and adjust different sound setting. It start to look much more like the one from Renault. The cars from, from Renault look really similar. So you can see this area here start to look quite, quite similar. I hope in the future they will bring also that Google map and Google integration in this multimedia system from Dacia. So I wait, I wait that uh, to happen as soon as possible. And here you have all that information from system updates, date, time, and yeah, in general, this is it. Uh, if we go here, you have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, wireless, you can connect your phone to the car. And I will show you that in a separate video. So stay close because uh, you want to see that. And then here is the phone connectivity and here is the media connectivity. Oh, my brother from Romania. My brother from another my, mother. My brother from <laughs> Romania. We hey, will talk hey, later. Take care of this car. Yeah. I gotta come back. Yeah, yeah, we see. And then uh, up here is the media and then we have the, the home screen right here. But basically it's quite, quite simple. You want to turn on the climatic system. You do it from down here. You choose the temperature. You choose all that stuff in, in super, super simple way. And I love the fact that the car start to be much more, I should say, much more premium than it was before. And this is, this is crazy, crazy important for me to see that the car keep the price, but in the same time come with new features, better features. And as you see these days, the cars basically grow the price more and more. But Dacia somehow managed to keep the price low and to offer the cars for the people that really use the car for practicality and not for, I should say, show off and stuff like that. So. It's a great car from my point of view. Uh, I was expect to be this good before I saw the car and while I see it on the internet, I was really excited to see it and I think it's a great car, guys. Stay close because as soon as I get the car for a test drive, I will give you more information about the car. Also, another review in much more detail with much more technical data would come on the channel. Also stay close because I will plan to film all those cars here plus the Dacia Spring and not only from here from Geneva, International Motor Show 2024. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe because we'll come much more interesting cars in the future. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe. And I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.